are talking with your astronomer buddies about the possibility that this is a mega structure, like an artificial mega structure. Let's start with like the the possible sci-fi of it all. Uh, this is not a rock. And in that case, maybe it's targeting the inner solar system. We know that the trajectory is very well aligned with the planets, and it will come very close, as you pointed out, to Mars, and later in March 2026 to Jupiter. And so the fundamental question, as far as I'm concerned, is what is the object? How There's something deeply strange happening with 3 Eye Atlas. For months, astronomers watched its path, cold, predictable, a clean arc through the void of the solar system. But the newest data say otherwise. The dust cloud doesn't align the way it should. The chemistry doesn't match any comet we've ever catalogued. And now, its course appears to have shifted. Not enough to collide, not enough to panic, but just enough that nothing about it makes sense anymore. Why did 3i Atlas change course? That remains the question no one can answer. They assured us the path was fixed, a line written by gravity, an equation too simple to question. But new observations tell a different story. 3i Atlas is not behaving as expected. When astronomers processed the latest images, they saw something subtle. The coma, that fragile envelope of gas and dust, wasn't aligned toward the sun. Instead of streaming cleanly away in a tail, it spread sideways, even forward, as though resisting the rules. At first they thought, error of measurement, light trick, a glitch in equipment, a filter misaligned. But the data held firm. Multiple telescopes over many nights gave the same result. The comet was ejecting material in directions that made no sense. Not just the usual burst away from heat, but a flare toward the sun, as though the nucleus had ruptured in ways unseen. This is where language begins to break. Some called it a trajectory change. Headlines whispered about a comet that had shifted course. The truth is stranger. On paper, gravity still holds. The arc across the solar system is unchanged, but the fine details, the dust, the gas, the orientation of the coma, they don't match the mathematics. It's as if 3i Atlas is being tugged or pushing itself in ways we cannot yet measure. And then came the chemistry. Spectroscopy revealed something that shouldn't be. Strong emissions of cyanide, strong emissions of nickel, but no iron. Nickel without iron, almost impossible in nature, but not unnatural in industry. Astronomers scrambled for explanations. They said iron clings to ice longer, only releasing when the sun's heat becomes extreme. Perhaps the instruments aren't sensitive enough. Maybe iron is there, faint and hidden. But as 3i Atlas moves closer, the nickel signature grows stronger while iron remains silent. The numbers, the ratios, do not line up. So now we stand with two anomalies, a trajectory that defies the dust and a chemistry that defies the rules. And yet, 3i Atlas moves onward, silent, steady, fast. It will never stop. It will never return. We have only these brief months to observe, to measure, to attempt understanding. And yet the more we watch, the less it makes sense. Astronomers describe it in papers and telegrams using terms like non-gravitational acceleration, sublimation anomalies. But outside those circles, the message ripples that 3i Atlas has changed course. Once that idea takes hold, it never lets go. Because if a comet can drift beyond gravity's script, what does that mean? If an interstellar object can bend against the pull of the sun, what force, what hand guides its drift? There is something else about 3i Atlas, something more unsettling than its strange dust. Its odd speed. When astronomers traced its path backward, they expected clarity. Stars leave fingerprints, gravitational slingshots, close encounters, tiny perturbations over millions of years. Every interstellar traveler bears a map of where it has been. They pulled the thread 
using Gaia's stellar catalog. They rewound its orbit 10 million years, 10 million years drifting through the darkness. And what they found was silence. Yes, there were encounters, 62 nearby stars over that span, moments when 3i Atlas passed close to a star, but none could explain the speed. The closest was roughly 72,000 years ago, a pass with a star called Gaia DR3264. A gravitational tug, but far too weak to account for the momentum we see now, because the velocity of 3i Atlas is too high, too precise, as though it was already accelerated long before we detected it. No star in the last 10 million years supplied that energy. No mechanism we know can account for how it moves. So we ask, where did that speed come from? What pushed it? What ignited the motion that carries it past our sun? Some whisper that it must be older than we imagined. Older than us, older than the solar system itself. Some estimates now place its age between 7 and 11 billion years, twice as old as our sun, drifting since before Earth even existed. And yet, if it is so ancient, why does it look so alive? Why does it shed gas, shift color, bleed nickel without iron? Why does it move like something not just ancient, but deliberate? The stars don't explain it. The models don't explain it. Even time itself offers no answer, which leaves us with a silence more powerful than discovery, because if no natural process can account for its speed, then we are staring at motion without a cause. Momentum without origin. Impossible things tend to change us. There is a date circled on the calendar, October 2025. When 3 I Atlas will pass close to Mars, not enough to strike, not dangerous, but close enough to stir us. Because Mars is not just another neighbor, it's a mirror, a world we study for traces of life, a world we hope one day to walk. And now, an interstellar visitor drifts past its orbit, not Earth, not Jupiter, but Mars. A coincidence, they say, gravity's design. But the timing stirs something deeper. Fossils, ancient rock, questions of life, all the things we pin our hopes on Mars for. And here comes 3i Atlas, threading Venus, then Mars, then Jupiter, but Mars is the centerpiece. For centuries, we've studied its deserts, imagined canals, sent rovers to its dust. Always we ask, are we alone? Now imagine the question reversed, not us looking at Mars, but something else passing by, looking at us. If you were an ancient traveler, where would you search? Not the frozen moons, not the empty belts. You would look toward Earth and its neighbor in the habitable zone, Mars. That is exactly where 3 I Atlas is heading, coincidence or reconnaissance. Astronomers insist it's random, a trajectory carved by gravity. But even they admit the dust is strange, the chemistry is strange, the speed is strange. How many anomalies can we ignore before coincidence begins to crack? When 3i Atlas swings past Mars, telescopes will be watching. On Earth, in orbit, perhaps rovers looking up. Every eye searching for fragments of truth. We may see nothing but dust and gas, a fractured tail glowing green in the night sky. But maybe we see more. Maybe we see a trace of something deliberate, a message written in motion, a reminder that the void is not empty, because even if it is only ice and rock, the timing is impossible to ignore. Mars is where we search for life. Mars is where we plan to walk. And in that same breath, 3i Atlas arrives, not invited, not planned, but still by some unseen design, perhaps not ours. And that is why this moment matters, because for the first time, we are not the only ones passing Mars, something older, something faster, something that does not follow the rules. So we wait, we wait for October, for the drift, for the silence to speak, and maybe it never will. Maybe silence is the message. Maybe the drift is the answer. Until then, we live with unease. The unease of knowing an object from beyond the stars will skim the horizon of the world that mirrors us, 
A world that could hold our past. A world that could hold our future. When it happens, there will be no sound, no warning, only a shadow across the void. And the question will linger long after, why did it shift? Why here? Why now? We may never know, but the unease will stay with us. The sense that the void is not empty, that silence is watching. And perhaps that's why we tell these stories, because in the end, the only way to face the darkness is together. So if this drift unsettles you, leave a trace, a like, a comment, a mark that you are here watching with us. If you want to walk further into the unknown, subscribe. This is only the beginning. The cosmos is full of questions waiting to be asked.